My name is Lisa, a working mom living with my husband, Valentin, and our adorable daughter, Madison, in a family of three. Madison is in her playful prime, eating and sleeping well. At daycare, she always enjoys playing with her friends and happily shares her experiences with me. On this day. So, you know, I was lining up to get on the swing with Akko-chan, and then. A senior kid told us we could go ahead and take our turn. Really? That was very kind of them, wasn't it? Yeah, and after playing on the swing, we played together and became good friends. Wow, you've made another friend. It's great how you play well with everyone, Madison. We promise to play together again tomorrow. I'm looking forward to daycare tomorrow. This is my daughter, Madison. She has grown into an honest and kind child, and I am very happy about it. On the other hand, I have been troubled by my husband, Valentine, on a daily basis. I'm home. Ah, I'm exhausted. Welcome back. Hey, Valentine, it's been months since you came home at a reasonable hour. Do you realize you're hardly spending any time with Madison? I'm busy, it can't be helped. But, I want you to make time for Madison. When was the last time you even played with her? I'm too busy, it's impossible. You know I work even on weekends, right? I'm exhausted, and I don't want to deal with this kind of talk as soon as I get home. This kind of talk. Valentine is a typical workaholic who neglects his family. No matter how many times I talk to him about making time for Madison, he doesn't listen. I've pleaded for him to improve our current situation, but nothing changes, leaving me at my wit's end. On one of those days, Madison and I went shopping at the mall. I'm sorry, Madison. Shopping with mom must be boring for you. No, I'm really happy to go out with you, mom. Really? Yes, for real. I'm so happy and having fun looking at all the cute things. That's great. Oh, right. How about we buy your favorite cake on our way home? Cake, yay, awesome. I wondered if Madison was hiding her loneliness by not talking about Valentine. I felt guilty every time I thought about it, but she seemed not to be too bothered. Feeling a bit relieved about Madison, we finished our shopping and returned home. Here we are, home at last. I wonder if we bought too much. Huh, mom, aren't these shoes here not yours? You're right. Oh, could there be a burglar inside? Madison, can you quietly go to your room, please? Okay, I understand. I'll be very quiet. What if it's a burglar? I should keep my phone ready to call for help. Oh, there's someone in the living room. This is scary. Welcome home. Ah. Uh, you startled me, eh, Giselda? Why are you here in our house? You were so late I was getting tired of waiting, you know. As I entered the living room, frightened that there might be a burglar, I found my childhood friend, Giselda. She surprised me so much that I almost had a heart attack. Your face just now, Lisa, was hilarious. Ahaha. Uh -huh. But seriously, what a mansion. Just like Valentine said. Wait a minute. How did you get in here? The door was locked, wasn't it? Oh, the key? Look, I got it from Valentine. I came to check out the house because I have things to move in and stuff to do. What? Why are you mentioning Valentine? And what's this about moving things in? What inspection? From now on, this mansion will be the love nest for me and Valentine. So, Lisa, could you please take your child and leave as soon as possible? I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean? Gosh, Lisa, you're so clueless. It's funny. No wonder you never noticed Valentine's affair. What? Affair? Yep. To put it simply, I took Valentine away from you. Took him away? What are you talking about? Unfortunately, it's true. It's a reality you need to accept. I'll be living the high life here, snatching the ticket to luxury from you. Don't you think it's fabulous that someone as gorgeous as me gets to live so elegantly? You're going to live here. Ha! The loser barks. You're such a pathetic woman. So Lisa, how does it feel to have your husband and house stolen by a childhood friend? Instead of gritting your teeth, try being born as beautiful as me next time. But with your level, Lisa, catching up to me is impossible, even in another life. Ah ha Giselda laughed triumphantly, but she was completely unaware of the huge misunderstanding. Giselda? You seem to be having a lot of fun with your story, but... It's hilarious. 
I'm feeling absolutely fantastic. That's nice to hear, but you're mistaken. I'm already single. Oh no, did the shock make your brain glitch? That's seriously funny. There's no glitch. I'm already divorced from Valentine, and he knows this house belongs to me now. Don't lie to me. Enough. Here, I'll show you my driver's license. Maybe this will convince you? Wait, isn't this your maiden name? Hold on. This isn't what I was told. This mansion was supposed to be mine. What's going on here? Upon seeing my driver's license, Giselda seemed to realize the truth and started causing a commotion. Just when Madison and I were enjoying our return home, I was getting fed up, hoping she would leave soon. Ah, I knew you'd be here. I've been looking all over for you. Now there's more trouble. Ugh. Wait, Valentine. Is it true you're divorced from Lisa? And this house belongs to Lisa? What's going on? That's not what you told me. Well, that's because. Explain this to me. Well, yes, this is Lisa's house, and we're no longer married. Ha! Huh. What's that supposed to mean? What a waste of effort! I thought selling this mansion would make a lot of money. Sell it? Oh, Giselda, you're in debt, aren't you? What's with that huge amount? Eh? What are you talking about? You must be mistaking me for someone else. No mistake. The court sent a demand that wouldn't arrive by mistake. It's definitely in Giselda's name, so trying to deny it is useless. Enough with the noise. Hey, both of you, outside. Lisa, keep out of this. Who cares about evading or whatever anymore? With Valentine's high salary, that debt could be paid off, so it's no problem. If it were bonus time, it could be paid off in one go, but I'll compromise. Ahaha. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Because Giselda, you've been saying nothing but dreamy things. Valentine isn't a high earner, he's unemployed. Unem, what? No way. I said, unemployed. The reason for our divorce is mostly on Valentine's side. He used work as an excuse to spend every day at the pachinko parlor. And despite having debts, he still found time to date and have fun? I don't care who he dates, but he should sort out his priorities. Such troublesome people, really. Valentine had been pretending to be wealthy to Giselda, and Giselda had also claimed to be a celebrity to Valentine, realizing they had both lied to each other. Being unemployed and in debt, you tricked me. That's my line. Weren't you supposed to be a rich celeb from a wealthy family? Don't change the subject. We're talking about how you lied. You did the same, didn't you? Tricking me, you sly fox. You're one to talk. So loud. Ah. Uh. What's going on? You've been so noisy. Arguing like this won't pay off your debts, will it? Uh, who's this handsome guy? You're not Lisa's new partner, are you? This is Noah, he's a lawyer. A lawyer? A handsome lawyer, what a catch. It's impressive how much you've managed to borrow from here and there. But well, your debts are only going to grow from here on out. Hey, Mr. Lawyer, I could be your girlfriend, you know? First off, regarding Valentine. Hey, why are you ignoring me? Because it's a waste of time to listen. To put it simply, we're going to demand full repayment from Valentine for his affair and the money he squandered. What? And for Giselda, we'll be demanding compensation for the affair. Compensation for an affair? But Lisa is already divorced from Valentine. Even if the affair is discovered after the divorce, compensation can still be demanded if the conditions are met. I knew about Valentine's affair even when we were married. So, Giselda, be prepared to pay a substantial amount in damages. Due to their careless lifestyles, Valentine and Giselda were faced with demands for compensation and damages, suddenly jolted back to reality. Realizing the severity of their situation, they tried to plead their case. I can't afford to have more debt. Hey, Lisa, we're childhood friends, right? So, let's just forget about the compensation, okay? What? Right. Even though we're divorced, we were married once. What convenient reasoning. Come on, I'm the ex-husband and Giselda's the childhood friend. Discussing money in such relationships feels wrong, doesn't it? It's so awkward dealing with money between friends, let's drop it, okay? Enough already. Yikes. You scared me so much I almost lost my footing. Stop joking around. 
Valentine, you prioritized Giselda over spending time with Madison, remember? And Giselda, you tried to steal a husband from your childhood friend. I couldn't care less about our relationship. Oh, come on, don't be so angry. I have every right to be angry. Why don't you show some remorse? It's only right to take responsibility for your actions. I may look like this, but I'm a skilled liar, and I'll make sure you pay every penny. Don't say such scary things. You two, who don't show any remorse or willingness to take responsibility, are far scarier. Look, Lisa, I'm breaking up with Valentine and I'm apologizing, so please forgive me? You call this an apology? I always valued you, Lisa, as a childhood friend, but Valentine was so persistent, I just couldn't say no. Didn't you say, what a pathetic woman? Eh? If you truly valued our friendship, you wouldn't say such things or betray me. So don't think a mere apology will make me forgive you. Even after witnessing Giselda's attempt at an apology, I felt no inclination to forgive her. Observing this, Valentine made a proposition. All right, I get it. Lisa, how about we start over as a couple from scratch? What if we get back together, you work, and I become a stay-at-home husband? Are you dreaming? I'm serious. Absolutely not. What do you mean, start over? I have nothing to start over. Perhaps it's you who should consider starting your life over from scratch. Don't be so cold, Giselda was just a fling. What do you mean by that? You said you had no feelings for Lisa and loved only me. Stop making things worse. What will you do if your words increase my debt? Mommy, did the thief leave? Madison. Oh, it's the lawyer. Are you here to play? Welcome. Hello, Madison. Sorry for intruding. Sorry if you were bored in your room, Madison. It's okay. I came to put away the cake we left at the entrance. Let's eat it together later. Today was a discount day, so I bought more than usual. Let's eat it with Noah too. Really? Thank you. Let's eat together later. Hey, can you leave now? I want to eat cake. Looks like we're being asked to leave. Madison? Isn't it a bit harsh to tell your dad to leave? Ha <laughs> ha. Who are you? Come on, Madison, it's me, your dad. Eh, I don't know who you are at all. Madison, you don't have to pretend. Come on, give your dad a big hug. My teacher at daycare said not to talk to strangers. So, I'm not going to talk anymore. Valentine was shocked by Madison's reaction, but the conversation continued. A stranger. Madison, are you mad at me for not spending time with you? Why are you so surprised? How long do you think it's been since you last saw Madison? You've been away so long she doesn't even remember your face. That can't be true. Being forgotten by your own child is hilarious. You seem quite relaxed to be laughing right now. It's just that, when I realized it's all self-inflicted, I couldn't help but laugh. But you're part of the reason why, Giselda. That's a boomerang statement. Hey, what have I done to deserve this? Trying to trap a wealthy man while pretending to be a celeb, but you got trapped instead. You two are like the spider caught in its own web. It's boomerang no matter which way you look at it. No way. Madison. It's me, your dad, remember? This man is scary. Go away from our house. We don't need your child support, so don't worry about that. But in return, stay away from Madison from now on. Got it? Now, please leave. Lisa. I was wrong. If you give me another chance, I'll find a job. I'll work hard and support the family. Please. We've managed just fine with my salary even after you were unemployed. We don't need you. Don't be so cold. If you take him back, my compensation. I will demand it, okay? Didn't I tell you not to expect forgiveness just because you apologize? That's the situation. Let's discuss the details. Come on, let's go. No way. I can't pay any compensation. Please, have mercy on me. The exit is that way. I don't know who you are, but please don't come to our house again. Bye. Valentine and Giselda were causing a commotion, but Noah ended up taking the two with him. Valentine, who was completely forgotten by Madison, regretted losing his family for the first time now. Like Valentine, Giselda was unemployed and dressed in branded clothes to pretend to be a celebrity. However, since all of them were fakes, there was nowhere to sell them, and everything became trash. To repay their debts and pay me alimony, the two found part-time jobs and started working. 
However, since they had been lazy until now, they couldn't wake up in the morning and were constantly late. As they were scolded every day, they lost the motivation to work and eventually quit the part-time jobs they had finally found. Still, repayments and payments wouldn't wait. Because of her utterly irresponsible lifestyle, Giselda was finally disowned by her family. And Valentin was also turned away from his home, losing any place to rely on. Thus, Valentin and Giselda, as if paying the price for their careless borrowing and frivolous spending, led a miserable life, merely being tossed around by money. And as for me and Madison... It's been a while since I've had a leisurely day at the park like this. Lawyers are busy, after all. Yeah, I'm getting out of shape. I used to play outside every day as a kid. Wonder where all that energy went. True, we're always on the move, yet it feels like we're losing stamina. If you play a lot like Madison, you'll have fun and get energized. All right. How about playing together then? Let's play, Mom, is it okay? Of course, but, are you sure, Noah? Won't it bother you? Not at all. It's good exercise for me. All right, Madison, let's race to that spot over there. Ready, set, go. Life with Madison was filled with joy and laughter, more so than ever before. Even after the legal discussions about compensation ended, Noah continued to visit occasionally, checking in on us and spending quality time with Madison, playing and drawing with her, showing genuine care for her well-being. Gradually, Noah and I developed a friendship, and now we've even planned a meal out together as a trio. Going forward, I'm committed to creating a joyful and vibrant daily life for Madison, filled with activities she loves. Inspired by Madison's energy, I'm motivated to embrace each day with enthusiasm and dedication to parenting, ensuring our days remain full of happiness and love. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.